What do we remember about that day? Well, it was a very hot day. The excitement was just unbelievable. Uh, we were picked up uh, here at the house uh, by a limousine. We arrived at the courthouse. Tons of journalists were out on the steps. It took us a long time to get inside because of all the questions. <laughs> The, the lawyers inside were waiting for us to finally arrive. On all the balconies in the courthouse, everybody had come out of the rooms. They were all standing around on the balconies. Okay. Lawyers from across the street came out with a bottle of Porto. <laughs> they handed us a bottle of Porto. We didn't know these people, but... <laughs> I mean, it was so much going on that day. It's just unbelievable. The reception was there. The Dutch uh, consulate came to the reception and several politicians were there. And that day, the estimate was that about 1,500 people came to our wedding ceremony there. Yeah. And uh, Peter Sagakis was so generous to uh, have it in his place, you know. And he had organized the whole thing. He, he didn't have anything to do with it. Uh, sky, uh, sky, please. At Sky, yes. Uh, very well-known singers. Uh, the gay and lesbian choir came to sing. We had uh, drag shows. Jo Bocan did a special song, her most famous song for us. For our legal status, we thought it was important. And of course, it was important too for the gay community to, uh, to know that we can get married and have a long time relationship. I think uh, we inspired a lot of other people to do the same thing after we, we had uh, gotten married. So we became equal, finally. So uh, uh, Gay Écoute or Emergence did all the lobbying at the time, and the gay community, uh, other organizations too. So uh, yes, it was very important. There are still a lot of homophobia around. It's still, it's still happening. It hasn't been in the news so much lately, but if you ask people in the gay village, they will tell you that it's still happening. And not even in the gay village, uh, all around too. Even for us, we still have a case yeah. at the moment yeah. on our street of homophobia which uh, brought us back to that awful 10 years we had before. I think now the battle is for trans people. I, I think trans people are very, very badly understood yet. And that, that really has to advance in the, for the future. They, they should be held equal and people should try to understand what a trans person is. They are, they are fighting the same battle we have been fighting before. And um, it's about time that it changes.